Ayo Fritos, welcome back to my channel. Or if it's your first time here, hello, my name is Laurel. I'm not a professional makeup artist, I'm just a weirdo that likes to experiment and collect really nice makeup. Now today's video is going to be a very exciting one, the most anticipated palette of 2022 thus far. And yes, I'm aware that we're only two weeks in, but still, the most hyped palette of 2022 is here, and I'm here to review it for you guys today. I'm gonna do a look with it, and of course, I'm talking about the Huda Beauty Lunar New Year palette. This is her Tiger Wild Obsessions palette. Ooh, there she is. Miss Huda made some very big promises with this palette. We're gonna see together if she fulfills all those promises. I'll be right back with some swatches, and then we'll get into the look. Stay tuned. <music> Here she is, very cute component, nice little tiger on the outside, and this is our color story. So I have to tell you, I didn't read the description online. I just got so excited that Huda Beauty had launched a palette that I just dove right in and bought it immediately without reading any of the description or even looking at the price. So I'm checking behind myself now. I have to tell you, I feel like this is one of the times that I got misled by the packaging. Like the packaging was so red and everything that I thought that the palette was more red and orange. And my sister said the same thing. And I look at it now and it's not orange, it's yellow. So you guys just saw the swatches. They are not that great. Like they weren't terrible, but they were not fantastic. So I'm curious to see how they perform on the lid. We're gonna try that out today. But first, this palette retails for $29. You can pick it up on hudabeauty.com or at Sephora. The description says it is a limited edition champagne gold palette with taupe neutrals and a sexy terracotta pink. Wow. What else you need to know? Fiercely pigmented shades and creamy textures. This nine well palette is loaded with four luxe innovative textures that look unreal on everyone, including suede soft mattes and complementary metallics. The suede soft mattes blend seamlessly on the lid, while the stunning semi sheer metallics at gold glen and high drama foil metallics bring their killer dimension. Versatile, super buildable, and easily blendable. The formula applies like a dream with minimal fallout whether you use a brush or your fingers okay i'm sorry that was so obnoxious but either way we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see if there's some fallout today so this contains nine eyeshadows in yellow matte muted brown matte orange matte beige matte beige salmon matte <laughs> bronze gold shimmer pinky brown shimmer gold shimmer and 3D pink metallic. All right, I'm done being obnoxious. Let's just get into doing the look. Wait, 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 there's one other thing I wanted to see. So I just looked and this is made in China. Can I tell you guys, I get somewhat annoyed when I'm paying $29 for an eyeshadow palette with nine pans and it's made in China. Like, come on, Huda, you couldn't just make it here, really? All right, no more prattle, let's just do the look. So on my E01 Cream Blend Eyeshadow Brush from Nakia Joy Cosmetics, we'll go in with the mauve shade down here. All right, I would say that went on spectacularly. There is really nothing to diffuse. It just all blended out in that one little session. Next, I'm gonna go in with the orange yellow shade that's in the corner. This is on a refer 14. Now 
Next on my Units 201, we'll dive into the deepest shade in the palette. Now I'm wiping that same brush off, going back in with the mauve shade in the palette. And I'm going over top of where I just placed the matte color, and I'll be deepening up both of those shades going forward. Now in the very center of my lid, I'm going to go in with the softer yellow shade in the palette. And this is on a refer zero two. I got a little messy with that. I want the yellow to be more refined and used in a smaller capacity. So I'm gonna go back in and deepen up the edges of my eye again. Now on an NJC E10, I'm going to go into the golden shade in the corner. We're gonna try it out at first with no setting spray, and then I'll wet my brush and we'll see what becomes of it. So initial application, it's there. It's not heavy though. Like I would definitely like for it to be more opaque, but it's building up. And I am looking for those. There legit is no fallout. I am so pleasantly surprised it actually lives up to its claim. Okay, let's spray the brush just so we can pack on more in a shorter amount of time. Now on my Morphe M506, we're gonna take the center pinky golden shade. It's interesting, it's so multichromatic. In some light it looks green, in some light it looks gold, and in some it looks pink. Swirling my brush around in there really good. This, as you can see, is going in the corner of my eye. Lit, it is showing up nicely. And now on my Luminous Smudger from IT Cosmetics, we'll go in with this dark shade once again. I'm just going to connect the lower part of my eye to the upper. Then on the end of a crappy Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, we'll go in with the sparkly brownish purple shade. And it's just gonna go on the lower end. All right, friendos, it's that time. I'm gonna go off camera, do my other eye line lash, and I'll be right back to discuss this palette. Okie dokie, friendos, I am back. And I think it's time for lips. So I've had this By Terry sample on my desk for a long time. It's the By Terry Lip Expert, the new liquid lipstick, matte and shine. So I'm gonna go in with these two red shades and we'll see how it goes. Have you guys tried a lot from By Terry? I personally have not. Oh, this is looking more magenta, I'd say, than red, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, it is. I don't like that. Okay, all right, that's not working out. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to go in with a lipstick from Mother. All right, this is Elson from Pat McGrath Labs. I should have lined my lips first. I don't know why the heck I didn't. I suppose it's not too late. Let's just go ahead and do that. Girls, this is bold. Okay, so we've got to put some blush on. Yeah, with something this bold. All right, what are we gonna do here? I think I'm gonna go in with a mauve shade in my Hourglass palette. We're gonna go in very delicately. Since this is so golden, I'm also going to do something I hardly ever do, which is highlight. Going in with this old Smashbox palette, which is this, the Ablaze face palette. I think you can get this. I've seen it at TJ Maxx before. And now, friendos, back to this palette. I was pleasantly surprised to see just how good everything blended out. There literally was no fallout. Like, they 100% kept their promise on that. And I think that this is one where you can really get creative, and I appreciate that about a palette. Sometimes color stories that aren't very obvious can actually be a gateway into creating some of the most artistic, beautiful, unforgettable looks. Friendos, rarely do I ever get through reviewing a product and not have at least one negative thing to say about 
the palette. Everything just performs so good that I don't have any negatives to bring to your attention. And I have to say, with Huda's last few eyeshadow palette releases, she's moving higher and higher and higher on my list of favorite eyeshadow formulas. Wait, I do have one complaint. My only complaint was what I said before about this is manufactured in China. It probably cost them maybe three or four dollars to make. Again, I'm just guessing here. I don't know that for a fact, but that's typically what something like this would cost to make in China. And then they're marking it up to almost $30. So that is something to consider. Other than that, I really like that the package doesn't have a very obvious color story. So I feel like it encourages creativity. And I think this is one of my favorite looks that I've ever done for my channel. It's like a little bit outside the box and just brilliantly bold. So not trying to toot my own horn. I just like palettes like this where they give you a little bit of a challenge and you're able to work within the confines of the unique color story provided. All right, friendos, now I want to hear from you guys. Do you plan on picking up this palette or have you done so already? What do you think of this look right here? Is it too bold? Is it not enough? I'll be playing with this palette some more on my channel, I'm sure. Please subscribe if you want to see more eyeshadow palette reviews. I do them very frequently on my channel. I really hope that you all enjoyed your time here today. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed spending time here today. I can't wait to hear your comments and thoughts on this palette. You guys really know your stuff and I enjoy reading your comments after every video. And friendos, should you choose not to subscribe, We'll both have to go on living our lives, never knowing what could have been. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.